Here's a work in progress. Uh, I figured I'd just share it with you guys. I'm trying to build up my motivation if I'm being completely honest. Um, I've done a few versions of this already. Most of them have ended up in the trash or put away somewhere because I have a tendency to rush into projects without a lot of planning. And then I make compositional errors or structural errors that are then impossible to fix. So after restarting for the 10th time, I decided I'd work out a lot of my details and problems with the little sketch. And this sketch, um, I'm pretty happy with it. I feel like I'm getting better with the pencil. Um, there's some issues um, with this that I realized after weren't super great. I could have fixed it on the sketch, but I just made mental notes of it. Like, for example, the rocks here. I think they would look better if the end of the rocks was lower down and it angled up more. So I had more of a flow with the rest of the area. And here we have a little bit of a value study. I did this in black and white with acrylic paint. Um, I like the, the vibe it's giving off. I want the waterfall to appear uh, luminescent. It's going to be the, the lightest part of the painting, and it's going to intersect under the rock, the black line. So it's going to be a little bit of an X shape, and then all the greenery and rocks is going to radiate out from it or find a rhythm with it. The water is going to kind of swoop down in the foreground, and the contrast between the water here and here is going to be a lot less than here and here because that's going to be my focus. And then on this side here, we have a bit of a lightning bolt shape. This is going to be a path. I want it to feel like you're there looking at the waterfall. It's a magical moment. And I kind of want it to feel a little bit secluded. So I'm not going to put any characters or anything in here. I just want it to be a nice picture. And hopefully this version is the one that I can bring to completion. This is one of many that I started and yeah, it's not perfect by, by far, but I think, I think if I work it, I can kind of fix the values and uh, work it up to a state I'm happy with. I might take a, I'll just show you what I've been doing, going through some books. This is uh, Thomas Moran. He is a landscape painter, or he was a landscape painter. I'll just flip through real quick. I want to, let's see if I can find a good example of his paintings. He did a lot of waterfall paintings. I'll just start back. Let's see. Oh, there's some water. That's not really a waterfall, but it kind of gives off the, the point I'm going to try to make here is Thomas Moran has really beautiful value control. And I don't really want to paint exactly like him because I think personally there's some things he, he pushes a little bit too extreme that I don't really like so much. So I really like the background. It's, it glows really bright, beautiful rocks great structure and then you see how the light just kind of uh, undulates on the trees like you have these pretty bright values and it goes to almost black very light very dark the trunks are very uh, light and then close to black and you'll see this spotlit areas around the painting but the areas of great contrast are controlled in such a way that the painting is still readable so um, I'm gonna do my best to emulate some of this and 
I might even try to copy some of the brushwork styling in the foliage and the rocks, but that's my goal. Um, I'm not sure what the result is going to be, but I'll make another video with the result and we can talk a little bit about what I learned. All right, that's all I have for today. Thanks.